All right, so this is a quick video on my van sink. It's actually a salad bowl. And uh, it's gonna be for the drain, that's for the drain. <laughs> just kind of watch it, it's a little sharp, but it's a salad bowl. And what I did was I just cut a bunch of holes. Uh, well, not cut a bunch of holes, but I drilled a bunch of holes around like this in a circle. And then I just basically played connect the dots with the drill. And yeah, it's very rustic and nasty looking, but eh, you won't see it. All right, so here's the bowl. And I went out and bought a drain from Home Depot Lowe's and basically you take um, plumber's putty you roll it into like a little snake when you used to play with play-doh and then you put it around the edge like this and that's what seals this part to the bowl so you put that in there like so press it down a little and you'll start to see some of the stuff squeeze out which is good that's what you want to see I mean, you got enough in there but you don't want to squeeze it all out now a normal sink will have a a lip in there and that'll make it flush so this technically will hold a little bit of water but I'm not worried about it and I didn't want to spend 80 bucks on that sink because this bowl is like 10 bucks so after you get that on I put this rubber ring on there's a rubber ring that comes with the drain kit and then you're supposed to put this piece on so I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece on and this should hold the drain in place I'm gonna watch what I'm doing, watch the camera at the same time. Lots of threads. Alright, and then we're gonna start to tighten this down. I'll probably have to get a pair of channel locks to get this tightened down tight enough. Alright, we're going to try and make do. Uh, these are channel locks. And you can adjust them because they have channels in them, so they're called channel locks. And that'll go on there like that so I can tighten that part. And what happens is this part will start to spin. I just tighten it down. So what you really want is a pair of needle nose pliers to jam in there. I don't have any. Well, I have some, I'm just not sure where. So I'm just gonna try and hold it as tight as I can. Bowl's pretty flimsy. Now you can see how some of the stuff oozed out in the middle. And then I bought this kit. So basically, this goes on here. And it does separate once you got this piece on. And I don't know if this piece was supposed to substitute for this or not, but I'm not going to have it substitute it. I don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, this is what I bought. That helps you. Not a lot of information about this on the internet. Now this should just thread right onto here. Let's see how far down it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna say I probably could have avoided using that metal piece in there, but. I'm going to give it a go this way first and see how it works. See that like that. So then this will go on here. Also, if it leaks on these threads, they uh, have what's called pipe dope. And uh, it's just like a paste. And you put it on the threads. Uh, so when I try this out, I'm going to check it for leaks. Uh, but that's it. That's all I got to do. And it looks like this looks like a drain cover. 
would go on that outside of the van if you wanted it to. Or it goes into some other container. Because it has the mounts. I won't be using it that way. I'll be running this either into a container or I might run it down through the floor of the van on a, uh, a Y valve so if I'm somewhere and I'm just rinsing my hands or something I can let that fall onto the ground so, um, to save on filling up a gray water tank. But I keep this on here for right now so it doesn't get lost but I might be able to use this for something else later. Anyway, so that's how you do the bowl. Okay, so I set the faucet in place. And you see the tube running down through the faucet. It was a hand pump one. This is what I bought. And then this is the uh, sink, which is actually a salad bowl. The hose attached. And you can see here I have a line that ran around this opening. What I did was I... Um, Sorry, I need too many things at once. I put the bowl up here where I wanted it, and then I traced the edge. You can see the line. I traced the edge, and then I calculated, you know, it's about a quarter inch or so here of lip. So I basically took the circle that I made and made a new circle inside of it, and that's the circle I cut. like that now you're saying okay yeah it's a real sink it does come with clips on the underside under here where you can clip clip this together and then this doesn't jiggle around uh, but once I finish this top I'm gonna poly this top and I'm gonna put a, um, a bed of silicone and basically just rest this in place and seal it up and then it shouldn't move anymore so so we're at with the sink. Marked my valve that you saw in the other video, not valve switch, and uh, these will get tucked in here and run along the edge. I marked the one for the uh, the engine and then the home, the house battery. Marked those two, and I stuffed the tile those wires up, and put them away nicely, but they're there for now. Okay, so now we have water. As you can see, I wouldn't say it's consistent as far as the pumping, but it works. That's the drain. It did come with a little plug. And down below I'll show you which I, what I have. Uh, I already had this blue container. Uh, it's a water container I had with a, with a boat that I had. And then there's the drain hooked up, and what I did is I did a little dumpster diving on the job site, and that's one of the uh, paint bucket lids from Duron, and they have the little hole knockout in the top when they're they're pumping water or pumping uh, paint into the paint sprayer. They just drop a hose down in there off the paint sprayer, so that's why that hole is there, and that is the holding tank. And then this tank, this is the water tank, and it's a little bit of a tight fit. Obviously I built the cabinet for anything, but I've taken the hose, and in the top, there's actually a spout that came with it, and I just have it stuck inside as if you would carry it, and it came with a knockout that went in here. Um, but basically, it's what you would do if you were pouring, but instead I have it the other way around so the hose fits right inside of it and then I cut the hose to length so it would stop at the bottom of the tank so anyway when I put it back in I just get the little connection point up inside and then it'll go straight back in and there was a bit of a curl to the line underneath but that's not a big deal anyway so that's basically it
Charlie, are you sleepy? Huh? Are you sleepy, puppy? Hey, big girl.